Next up is our first panel, which is entitled Startups Share the Opportunity, Case Studies, and Entrepreneurship. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce session moderator Fergal Kenny, who's the founder, executive recruiter, president at Glenbourne Corporation, and founder of New York Digital Irish. On behalf of IIBN, I want to say we've been delighted to work very closely with them this past year and would like to thank Fergal for putting together such an exciting and diverse panel of truly entrepreneurial speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fer Fergal Kenny. Thanks, Deirdre. Uh, so uh, I appreciate that, um, that warm welcome. Uh, we're very excited to be here. This is a great event. Big supporters of the IIBN and as a regular member, very happy to be here. Uh, so we've got a great panel of four later stage uh, Irish digital companies who you're going to hear from in a couple of minutes. We're going to let each speak in turn, and then we're going to do a panel at the end. But I did want to spend just two minutes giving you a quick overview on what the Digital Irish Group is all about. Uh, we've been around about two years. Uh, we focus on giving startups from Ireland a soft landing here in the States. Um, we've had 40 Irish startups pitched so far. And at the events that we run approximately every two months, we get these startups to basically give us their ask, right? What are they interested in? Is it connections with funders, partners, customers, employees, etc.? We then try and use our network and, uh, and make introductions that are impactful for them, and we've been quite successful in doing so. Um, we've also worked fairly closely with the IABN over the last year or so, uh, so I want to thank uh, Sean in particular for his close co cooperation with us. We hosted an event back in the Irish Consulate uh, back in April. We had about 120 people in attendance, and uh, we're massive supporters of some of the initiatives that the IABN are going to talk about later today, in particular around funding and what Coleman is doing in the, uh, in the area of mentorship, uh, because we see, believe that there's serious applicability there to the, uh, to the startup space as well. Sean touched a little bit on New York. Uh, I think historically, uh, a lot of Irish firms have defaulted to overflying New York and heading to the West Coast. Uh, we're massive believers that New York should be the default place where these startups go. Not in all cases. I mean, obviously, there's going to be businesses that are West Coast-centric, Google-centric, Facebook-centric that should probably go there. Um, but it is closer. Uh, there's more cultural ties. It shares the work day. And, uh, and there's support groups like ourselves that can, uh, that can help the firms out. Um, consistent with that thought, next week we're actually running the first independent mission of Irish startups to New York. Uh, we have 10 startups coming in next week from Sunday to Tuesday. Uh, they're going to get indoctrinated on doing business in New York. And um, on Tuesday night, that culminates in a, um, in a pitch session with VCs. And uh, you're welcome to come along if you're interested in coming along. I won't say everyone can come because it's a much smaller space. But, uh, but you can go to digitalirish.com and you can follow the link uh, there and come along and see some of these startups in action. So that's a little bit about uh, the Digital Irish Group. We're going to get to the panel now. Uh, we have four great startups that I mentioned. They are later stage, later stage than we typically deal with at the, uh, at the Digital Irish uh, forums. So we have Cleverbug, we have Super Awesome, we have Digisoft, and we have Datahug. I'm going to bring these guys up on stage. They've each got five minutes. They're going to talk, uh, uh, talk a little bit about their business. Keelan's going to start off from Cleverbug, and, uh, and then we'll do a panel discussion afterwards. Okay. Great. Good morning. Um, my name is Keelan Lennon. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Cleverbug, which is the company behind the Clever Cards application. Um, and... Um, so I've done up some cards here for my colleagues just to give you a feel for what it's like. So Clever Cards, um, it's an application that lets users quickly and easily select auto-personalized uh, and auto-created greeting cards. And then we individually print those premium cards for $2.99 and physically ship them anywhere in the world. We've now got 76 print and logistics facilities around the world. So it's actually the, the biggest um, print and logistics network of any greeting card company. Um, I've got a 60-second clip here they're going to show um, being in New York. I got a phone call last year that American Greetings, which is the biggest greeting card company in the world, um, was going to be on the Today Show. So we got some um, photos done up 
of the presenters um, ship them over to the studio. But this will just give you a so flavor for what actually what we do. So the wedding had friends and family on my do. mind. And something that I think you will approve of, I hope, um, you can use websites and apps today to send cards to people. Mm -hmm. But they will actually get the physical card, oh, Kathy. that's nice. So this is such a cool idea. Yeah. Cleverbug and Cardstore.com. You don't have to chase postage stamps or mailmen. Wow. You can actually customize cards like this because your birthdays are coming up in August. Oh, don't remind Do me, you sweetheart. see? <laughs> <laughs> on your birthday, drink responsibly. And don't show and then, picture of me with my arms Look at off. how cute oh, this one is. Look at so, oh, that one I'd like to see. And then, oh. OMG. Oh, and then I have to show you guys because I loved all the cards oh, that they God. made. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hold up. I didn't forget you. These Happy are birthday, doll. Those are cute. And then this one. Isn't Is this so buddy? cute? Okay, you have the, the gist of it. Uh, the irony of that story is... Uh, <laughs> That was, that was supposed to be about American Greetings, uh, and believe it or not, uh, a week later, the president of American Greetings rang me and uh, made an offer for Cleverbug, so we had, it was the first of a few offers that we've had that we had to turn, turn down. Um, so it's a very simple application. You, you integrate with Facebook, so it pulls in all of your, your Facebook friends. You'll never forget a birthday again. I've just put Fergal in here for the purpose of this. You click on him. Um, you can send a printed card or you can send an e-card, um, and um, it already populates with the recipient's Facebook photos. Um, so here's a Christmas card. It's already written out for you on the inside. So we have algorithms that run all that, that personalization. I can mail it back to myself because I might be meeting Fergal on Friday to give him the card or I can have it sent directly. Um, put in the address and it's, it's as simple as that and it's shipped anywhere in the world. So um, we've, we're now in um, about 200 countries around the world. Um, my mission is to build the largest social gifting business in the world. Um, it's all been viral driven. We've had no cost to customer acquisition because it's just been customers referring to customers referring to customers. So um, literally 200 countries around the world. Um, not sure about the three people off the south of Africa there. I don't know where that came from, but anyway. <laughs> so um, 130 million people. We launched into the marketplace just over 12 months ago, about 15 months ago. And 130 million people already have seen a clever card on Facebook. So it's been, it's been pretty rapid growth. Um, and that was all really on iPhone. We've only just launched Android in the last month. It's all about the team. Um, I did my first institutional raise when I was 25. Um, led by Dresner Clarence Benson. I sold that business for $20 million to Mido Sveco, actually in New York here. Um, uh, Nick Rotola, I went and hired. He was the former president of Vistaprint. Built a business from, six mil six, sorry, from $30 million to, to a billion in, in six years. Uh, Mark is, is exhotels.com and Ed is ex Goldman Sachs. So a um, strong team. Um, so mobile social, e-commerce and personalization, all of those are very powerful forces on their own, but when you, when you put the combined forces of those together, it's pretty profound on, on industries and, and people. Um, and Clever Cards really is at the nexus of those forces, and, and that's how we're reshaping the greeting card industry, um, and no, nobody has a solution like us. So um, just one last slide on industry trends. You know, we went mobile first, um, and um, I could see the explosion that was taking place in mobile, but quite honestly, you've always, as an entrepreneur, you're a little bit nervous that you might be ahead of the curve. It, this has just been phenomenal. I mean, Facebook was the largest photo storage company in the world. You can see it in blue there from 2009 to 2012, up to 320 million photos being uploaded. But just look what's happened in the last two years. This year alone, the first four months, 1.8 billion photos being uploaded, playing right into the path of, um, of the trend that we're at. So, um, so finally, I was on the Late Late Show earlier this year, and it's customary in Ireland to offer one free card for everyone in the audience. So <laughs> I said I'd, I'd extend that to everybody in the IBN. And uh, so that, that, that's my story. Thank you. Great, thanks, Caelan. Uh, so next up, we've got Fergal Kelly, who's actually my brother-in-law's brother, but that's a different story, uh, who is uh, going to talk about Digisoft.